Ciao everybody, Caterina here. Welcome to my kitchen. Well, it's Christmas in my home and I absolutely love this time of year. And I love baking uh, around the Christmas time. Tomorrow I'm having a small dinner party and for dessert I'm going to be preparing chocolate covered mostaciole. A delicious, delicious recipe for the Christmas time. And I must tell you, it was by request. Now let's get started. Okay, you're gonna need your stand mixer for this. You can do it by hand, but why would you? So I have three cups of all-purpose flour. I have a packet of vanilla. I am, uh, if you don't have this, you can use a teaspoon of vanilla bean extract. To the flour, I'm going to add one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Okay, I'm going to add the zest of one and a half oranges. And now I'm going to place this in my mixer. My, uh, before I continue on, I, I just want to give the zest uh, a chance to mix in with the flour and the sugar. This way all that good essence of the orange will, um, will follow through in all the dry ingredients. Okay, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of cloves, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, all Christmas scents, all of them. Just going to give us a quick mix. I have half a cup of warm water. I'm going to add this now to the dry ingredients. In this cup, I have the juice of one orange. I'm just going to add a couple of drops of orange flower water. Okay, now I'm just going to add it to the flour. Okay, and my dough is ready. A little bit of bench flour. I'm just going to work the dough a little bit so it's nice and smooth. There. Okay, plastic wrap and in the refrigerator for half an hour. I cut my dough in half. I'm going to work with half the dough first. I have two baking sheets here lined with parchment paper and I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You can use any cookie cutter that you like. I, I'm using the little diamond, the little sparkle on top of, um, of the guiding star uh, for Christmas time. So I'm just going to start cutting. Okay, I'm just gonna place them on the baking sheet. Okay, I'm just going to press the pieces together and roll out again. Okay, the first half is all done. Now I'm going to start with the other half. Now don't forget to keep moving the dough. You don't want it to stick. My first batch is done. My oven is ready. I'm going to place them in the oven for 12 to 14 minutes. I will watch them. Now I'm not going to put any wash on top of these cookies because we're going to be coating them with chocolate. I'm going to start making the chocolate glaze. To a double boil, I'm going to add one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, half a cup of cream, a teaspoon of corn syrup, that's what will give it that nice glaze, okay, just a couple of drops of orange flower water. Okay. I'm just going to let everything melt. My mosta chole are ready. They're still very warm. Now you're going to have to let them cool for a minimum of three hours before you glaze them with the chocolate. Now these mosta chole I prepared earlier today. So these are ready for uh, chocolate glazing. Okay, my chocolate glaze is ready. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, this batch of mosta chole, I'm going to just drizzle them like this. I have one of these, I'm just going to now I have parchment paper at the bottom. I'm just going to, that's it. Okay, I'm drizzling the chocolate glaze over the mosta chole. Now this way is um, Juliana's favorite, Lorenzo's wife. And that's... Okay, this batch is ready. We're going to leave it alone for three to four hours. We're going to allow the chocolate glaze to harden on the mosta chole. 
And I'm going to show you the way I prepared the other two batches. Okay, these mosta chole I prepared yesterday. So what I did with this one is I coated them with the glaze. I let them dry for three hours and then I recoated them. This is my favorite and my husband prefers it this way. I just coated one side and I let it dry for four hours. And of course, you saw the drizzled way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste one for you. And this is a wonderful, wonderful Calabres Christmas cookie tradition. Wonderful. I really hope you will try it. Now let's taste it. Mm. Mmm. It tastes like Christmas. Absolutely delicious. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And it's Katerina from my home to yours. Don't forget to hit your like button. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. Ciao.